Today we're going to be reading The Posh Rats. In London once there may have been the poshest rat you've ever seen. I'm told he would often go to buy his suits from Salville Row. He was immaculately dressed. His trousers were always nicely pressed. A crisp white shirt, a pink bow tie, a molecule on his left eye, and tailored with our own motto, his stripy pants and handkerchief. He'd wax his tail and comb his hair, then step into a brand new pair of gleaming handmade leather boots, the perfect match for his potch suits. He'd don a baller hat and cane, then briskly stroll to catch his train. He'd take a pick to the lily line to Knightsbridge Station where he dined at Harrods restaurant for lunch and every single day he'd munch a melody of the finest food of which I'm told may include truffles, oysters, dried here cured ham, moose cheese, wagyu beef, and yam. The things that you and me may in our lifetime never see. But he remembered he was a rat so Posh, he wore a bowler hat. To look at him, you'd think that he was some kind of royalty. But this was not the case. His bloodline lacked a single trace of noblemen or cleanly reigns that ran through his ancestors' veins. It was, in truth, a dreadful act. The ratty always talked insane in the leaden cockney rhyming slain absolutely not the thing articulated by a king that wasn't rich he wasn't posh he didn't even like to wash he just liked people thinking he was from the aristocracy the end <laughs>